Hello everyone, this is Lee K4DUR. I made a previous video uh, in an attempt to show uh, how to add a repeater with a little bit more speed than than clicking these uh, boxes and adding everything one by one in the little square boxes. And for me that's too slow to be adding uh, repeaters uh, especially as you can see I've got uh, roughly 1,261 uh, channels in uh, in my code plug. So we're going to take the, uh, the 868 uh, program. We're going to go to uh, the tools, and we're going to export our channels and do it as a CSV edit instead of doing the um, box method. And I'm going to name this demo. It's already there. Uh, so it should ask to overwrite it. Yep. Okay. And uh, click export. And it pulled an error because I have uh, the the other demo file that was already exported open in uh, in my Excel over here. So let's go over there where it's uh, opened already. And so the uh, repeater I want to add for demo purposes, it's already in my code plug, but. Um, I'm going to add this uh, Roanoke uh, Virginia W5CUI repeater, which is a C bridge. The reason I like to add, uh, do add my repeaters in CSV format is because um, a lot of this stuff is redundant. There's a lot of C bridge repeaters in in this area, and um, everything is pretty much uh, duplicate, so you don't have to s sit there and open up a checkbox every you know and and do what you need to do. Let's see. There's 11 talk groups here, so <coughs> I'm not gonna um excuse me. I'm not gonna take and uh, hack right into this uh, VFO channels, but I'm gonna hack in between right here, and I'm gonna add the 11 slots that that goes to. All right, and it usually ends up not 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 carrying this one for some reason. It always pulls one off, so I'm gonna cut it and put it back up, and it'll still maintain the uh, 11 slots. Okay. So that's what we got. So instead of typing all the information in, I get uh, being lazy. I'll and I'll copy one from up here. I don't like to use the one that has the same name and keep on going down. It might end up getting confused. So I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll copy one from up here, and then uh, come down and uh, I'll uh, paste all that into all 11 slots. And um, this is pretty uh, well I'll, I'll tell you that in a second okay so this repeater I'm gonna call the uh, ROA W5 alright so let's see let me copy it uh, I should have capital it but if I was gonna really do it and make it look a little neater I'm just typing away and banging right now okay and it didn't paste let me do that one more time it should paste the W run of W5 down there, but uh, being that we're making a video, it won't be difficult. Well, let's do it this way then. And if it won't do it that way, I'll do it this way. All right, there we go. All right, so we got. Um, you can go down through and type in your uh, what it, what what it each talk group is. Uh, attack 310 um, the next one the next one or you can copy it from another one um, you know just take the attack 310 off and copy it um, whatever if you don't even feel like um, you know doing anything and just paste it um, you can just copy paste all around anyway that now we need to add a re, uh, receive and transmit frequency so we'll copy and we'll uh, we'll paste it. I always do it up here first, and then uh, I'm gonna try pull just just for the heck of it. I'm gonna try pulling down, hit paste again. See, and it didn't. That's what I thought. Okay, that's what I was doing a second ago. There you go. And uh, then. I, I, 
We'll go over here and do the uh It don't like the paste out of here down here is why. Okay, now we got our that info in there. Um see how everything says PRN. Well the good thing about this is there's a lot of um, redundant stuff in here. So I guarantee you attack three ten is in here. That's gonna be the first one. So uh all you gotta do is hit highlight and hit T. Guess what? Attack three ten. Uh next one's gonna be mid Atlantic. Boom, mid Atlantic. This makes it so much easier for me. Uh I, I would assume it would make it easier for, for other people as well. <laughs> but uh, there's tack one. I mean, I can go on down the line. I'm not gonna keep on going down the line. Uh, uh, I'll do parrot, I guess. Mine's called uh, in the radio. It's a. I don't have it as parrot. I, I always use echo test. So um, here's echo test. The uh, yeah, brand micro brand meister echo test is actually different than the uh, C bridge. Um, so I put BM on that. And it knows, so there you go. You I, you keep on going down through the group like that. Well, then you notice that um, the time slots here. All these are on time slots uh, one, except for the last three are time slot two. So that would be the last three down here. What um what I do is I scroll back up and uh, find the time slot area. Let me make it bigger find the time slot area which is pretty close to uh, where everything make sure you got your color codes right correctly it is time slot you can click it and then uh, come on back down and you can see where it is in your line okay it'll be the last three um, since I didn't name them yet uh, I will to make this video shorter since I didn't name them I'll just hit two and it uh, I'm not sure if it works that way. Nope. Uh, but anyway, it's not hard to change something to. I mean, there's three of them done. Color code's correct already. Um, assuming that I had all this other stuff done and filled in, pretty much the repeater's there. That's, uh, you know, once you pull all these down to what, what, the, what you want, uh, you can even... Uh, on the scan list section, I'm, I know this is a scan list uh, aisle, uh, aisle because uh, I see this Lynchburg in here. Uh, you can name it whatever scan list you want, which Lynchburg, it's already here. Um, I'm sh it won't be one of the other ones because it's a new repeater, but if you do put the uh, uh, info in for your scan list before you uh, do your um, export. I think I've done it that way and it, it's already there. Um, you, you can put extra talk groups already in your um, in there before you export it and they will already be there too as well and um, if, you, if you put something in here as a talk group that is not in your code plug you can um, you can add it to your radio but you have to do it exactly the same way as you wrote it on the CSV file. Um, it that makes it a little bit more um, difficult if you have something that's not in your uh, redundant code plug. But I rarely run, run across anything unless it's um, something from uh, Brandmeister, and most people use the same Brandmeister stuff anyway. But um, I'm getting a little off on that. Uh, let me go back to the final. This is the most important part. Once you're done with it, um, assuming we're done right now, see how these numbers right here are all out of order now? You do not want to export this uh, uh, or import it back into your code plug like this. It will not like it at all. So to fix that, instead of just typing all these numbers in, you uh, highlight the box and see how the little plus comes up? Okay, you just grab that with your mouse, right, left click, um, and uh, see how I pulled it down and it made it 61 I, it'll go all the way down and renumber order it. I don't go into the VFOs because they're set like that for a reason okay now that's all numbered right uh, essentially assuming that I was really done 
uh, since it's for a video and I want to make it as short as possible I would save it and then come back into my code plug and hit the tool and hit import find that file where I saved it at boom plugged it in it's it's there and then after that you can set your zones up um, add it you know add it to a zone it should all show up um, by just clicking a new um, scan list or zone naming it and picking it out of the group here and you're done uh, to me that is very simple and way better than than banging on the little boxes in your um, code plug I hope this helps somebody out and um, this video doesn't have the music like the last video so it doesn't annoy the people that don't like music uh, it was kind of Bob Ross type music as anyway put you to sleep halfway through the video hope I crossed my uh, T's and dotted my I's correctly on this video and uh, nobody finds a mistake in, in it and I'll have to re-edit it uh, like the last one as well uh, still learning making these videos but uh, have fun doing them uh, until the next video 7-3 this is K4DUR